We've rented a villa in a boot and we are going to show you what it's like to live in a boot for a month with children. So let me quickly show you the villa. This is our living area, the children's room downstairs. And this is our outdoor bathroom, nice shower and a corner bath. Outdoors, luckily the weather's playing along. Also, I think it might uh, get freezing so long. I've just had so far just hot showers. This is the kitchen. Three plates stove, water dispenser with hot and cold water, and a fridge. I would have um, loved the oven, but I guess uh, this is such a lovely place. The oven just will need to add less cooking for me in the oven. But uh, the stove will just have to do the job. So when you get upstairs, this is our master bedroom. Our bedroom with the most beautiful view over the rice fields. This is what we wake up to every morning. And um, even a seating area where you can just have a cup of cup of coffee in the morning. And right there is a nice restaurant with very decent prices. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to take you for a walk just outside our villa. We're going to see there's a, a walkway that a lot of people is walking on somewhere. We don't know where. It's our second day here. Yesterday we just basically settled in. So we're going to show you what is, what's going on there. What, what is it that everyone is all after? I must say I like it. It's very peaceful living here between the rice paddy fields. Um, it's as a parent with small children, it feels much safer for me. There's no scooters riding around and they can just run around and enjoy the openness. Just look at the ducks. Where? Rice fields, people walking around a bit. Like I said, it's really like living on a farm. There's some cats are lying there. nice living here amongst the rice fields it's as if you have a sense of freedom it's like the ideal place to bring your kids to just to roam freely fresh air love it so, right, love it After some video editing and some homeschooling, it's time for a swim. Oh. How's the water? Catch. <laughs> Your turn. And just look there in the sky, all the kites. It's um, the kite festival in July. August, July, August, if I'm not mistaken, and everyone is purchasing. Evan just started the fire in our new barbecue. And uh, we're going to prepare some fish in a moment or two. And this is our new braai right here next to the swimming pool. And we are very, very, very excited um, to try out this new braai. It's been a while since we braied. And being from South Africa, that is something we used to do every weekend. There was a custom in our house is to have a braai, so it's quite a big thing for us. Evan is busy cleaning the fish, and I've made some nice pumpkin, and I'm busy with the salad. A nice big fish. Okay, we'll show you what it looks like a bit later on. 
and red snapper is served a little trick if you want to get it in a plate like that Whoop. off you go we're having some salad and pumpkin sweet pumpkin and sambal to go with the fish mm -hmm. just one little thing just one little thing look at this these oh, okay it's not many but they potent and they're ready for a nice big fillet steak which you never ever buy in Asia don't buy fillet steak don't buy any beef because you will be disappointed Coconut out of the tree. It's getting nerve wracking. Tired. It's taking a rest. Oh, how are you? So if you're living in Bali, you may or may not know it, but yeah. Hi. And uh, each day we play with them and yeah, basically. We play, um, got a club, got our own language for our club. Yeah, that's, we, we call our language the bestie language. Um, so, and we like playing Master Chef and we have some, we have some sisters. You probably have met Kayla's sisters, but sister before, but mine, mine, her, she's five years old. She's here with me today. I'm at Kayla's house. Wait, guys, speaking of them, where are they? I hear my sisters, but I don't hear the Tildas. Uh, they're in the clubhouse. They've been in here for like hours. Are they playing? S okay, there's uh, Tilda. Say hi. Hi. That's my sister. She did. Um, does she, does she know about YouTube? Um, yeah, she watches, <laughs> she probably didn't know she's going to be on yeah. YouTube. Her favorite show in the world is Miraculous Ladybug. Oh, Miraculous Ladybug. The whole time. And don't forget to check out that video. See ya. And in the next video, this is probably going to be in there too, maybe. Hopefully. I hope I'll see you all again soon. Bye. That was the ride. This is my volcano. Volcano. Volcano, yeah. Is it Mount Agoon? Yes. Oh, a volcano. <laughs> Quite creative.
Friday night in the villa, having a beer and a broi and some music. Look at this beautiful pool, we've been swimming today, it's quite hot lately. Once again, veggies on the fire. And tonight we're trying pork, pork fillet. So, it's always fillet. Uh, we're gonna see how it turns out uh, on, the, on the barbecue. And then our old trusted friend, we're gonna miss this dude so much. Look at him, look at him. He, wait, wait, Maggie. He is humongous, look at him. Amazing. Oh, Bye. and he's quick. I, mean, I know what his name is and he's usually, I know what his name is. He's usually a boy and his name is Flippy. Flippy? Yes. Right, there you have it. A boy <laughs> by the name of Flippy yeah. is living in this roof. He and his mistress hangs out in here. Usually the evidence lies here, that's the toilet where we sit, unfortunately. And uh, also, also one of the things we're going to miss so much here in Bali, all the geckos. We love them, they're quite noisy and each roof has its own set of geckos. So after eight months here in Bali, the day has finally arrived for us to leave this beautiful place. We've lived here for eight months. We met some beautiful people along the way, but now sad, sad goodbye. So after some sad goodbyes, that's it on our way. Everybody's sad, some tears, but uh, some excitement as well because this is the start of a new adventure for us. Guys, along the way. What is the fire? Oh, they're still asleep. And this is what you call a traffic jam. People saying goodbye, people trying to pause. And they are base butts forever. And two more base butts. Ah, oh, where did you get that? Be careful for the scooter. Look out for the motorbike. Sad, sad goodbyes. Just look at those eyes. Welcome to Africa! <laughs> Hello! We are in Africa! <laughs> and this is all our luggage. <laughs> What's your first experience in Africa? And reward. And how is it? Do you like it? And this is the vegetarian eating drivels. <laughs> Megan has turned a vegetarian in a boot with all the other vegetarians no. and now she's eating drivels. Right. No, I know she said she's not a vegetarian anymore when she heard.